You never thought that you would, you would speak again, did you? And no, I never ever thought I'd get a voice back. This has just been something I dreamed about for 12 years. And that first time, Dr. Belofsky said, give it a try, plug your... He told me to count, off. and I counted. And I was just amazed. You don't I remember had, your first words? I think I counted, and then I she asked went, to go home. Yeah, she said, I want to go home. Yeah. And, and Renee, if you're willing, just to show everyone how far you've come, in the tape piece, you had to use your quote unquote robotic voice using. Yes, and, it's and right here. Is your voice now, is it similar to the way it used to be? Well, I've got friends that I went to kindergarten with, and she tells me I still sound like Brenda, so That's... I think I'm coming out. I want you to show everyone how remarkable this change is because. This is how you used to have to talk, right? With talking with the machine makes me very difficult. Because we both stare. This was my best friend for 11 years. I was one year without a voice at all. And I could only write things down. And then I found this machine. And even though I sounded like a robot, I have to say I feel blessed that I had it so that I could communicate. But people treat you really weird when they don't know what you are and they look at you strange because you don't sound like human. Well, you sound not only like a human, but you sound like a woman who's beat all the odds. I have to ask you, what, what are you most looking forward to doing now that uh, you're moving on, you're healing, and things are getting better? Well, now that I have a voice, I hope that I can talk and influence a lot of people that have had medical problems that have lost her voice or just have gone through trouble like I've gone through all my life. I was a diabetic for 42 years. I was on dialysis for six years. I've had a total of 81 operations. And I feel like the bionic woman, inside and out, because they put me back together. And now that I've got a voice, I just hope I can help other people have the courage to keep fighting like I've fought all my life to stay alive. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you, Blasky. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Remarkable. Keep us updated, okay, Brenda? I will. I definitely will.